Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we are looking at the Ford E-Transit which has been converted by minibus options in Whaley Bridge, Derbyshire. This vehicle is a 15-seater. There is an option for a 9-seater which is wheelchair accessible with an inboard wheelchair lift mounted at the rear. It also has a video tachograph and minibus options have fitted the switch for interior lighting and reverse bleeper cutout above the driver so you don't have to drill into the dashboard or anything like that so looking around the cab of the transit it's high quality first aid kit in there plenty of little pockets to put things work documents etc Got a USB port there, 12 volt charging socket, got an electronic parking brake down to your right hand side, headlights including front fog lights. So the base vehicle prior to conversion is a Ford e-transit trend. So it has quite a few extra options on it. As you can see there, you've got heated seats in the cab. Quick clear front windscreen. Heated mirrors. Air conditioning. The vehicle also has sat-nav integrated into the screen. Hands-free cooling. also an eco behavior screen so there's a whole host of options that's all done from this one screen so you have various drive modes you've got normal eco or slippery which is ideal for today as it's uh, tipping down with rain so I'll put that on slippery You have departure and comfort so this allows you to set the vehicle's interior heating through the dash so if you're taking the vehicle out Monday to Friday go to Monday you can select cool off warm medium so let's go for warm set it for 7 a.m. And you can save that and you can do the same throughout the week so in the winter the vehicle will already be preheated for you before you take it off charge so it's not going to use the extra power from the battery to heat the vehicle once you start moving you then have charge settings so at the moment we're 100 percent charged vehicle has been charged through the EV open unit over there on the building wall you also have the owner's manual incorporated into the tablet which is very handy so there's all sorts of topics there let's just try headlights frequently asked questions so you've got a host of information there apps so this vehicle comes with a driver app it can have up to four different vehicles on that app so if you're a fleet operator you can keep an eye on your fleet location how much charge it's got so that's via Apple CarPlay or Android you can connect your mobile phone to it so hands-free calling phone list so look at general basic options on there you can have a vehicle hotspot so 
So that allows other people in the vehicle as passengers to share the Wi-Fi hotspot. Got Ford Assist, which allows you to talk to the vehicle and it will change the settings automatically as to what you tell it to. Emergency assistance setup, valet mode, so you don't press any buttons accidentally. Various connectivity options there. Clock settings. And you've got your navigation. Guidance. Traffic. You can have notifications as well for speed cameras, red lights, border crossing info, school zones, range warning and fine parking. The actual map itself is very good. Looking at the steering wheel, you can set the vehicle speed limiter on that side. And also the radio, some radio controls there. Then on the right hand side you have controls for phones and you can also control the information screen. Driver assist. Trip computer. Etc. Vehicles windscreen wipers are on the right hand side. Indicators on the left. So looking at the dash binnacle itself. So on the left hand side there's a gauge just that shows you how much power you're using when you're accelerating. Speedometer on the right hand side. And then you have how much power you have in the battery how much charge it has. Then you have the gear selector head up. So you have park, reverse, neutral and drive. And if you press L, then that gives you extra braking power, which regenerates the battery faster. So that also shows on the heads up display there and also shows up on the screen what was around you when you're reversing because so there's uh, reversing sensors all around the vehicle. The Because the sat nav is now programmed it also shows up on the heads up display there so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. So overall quite impressed with the cab area, it's very comfortable, heated seats are working well we do have electric windows in the front as well. This is the underneath the rear of the transit you have the vehicle's motor and the rear axle. Then you have the vehicle's battery. Very well protected. This also features crash protection downsides. You can see the unladen weight of the vehicle is 2894 kg. So let's have a look at the interior. Now 
once you step inside. So there is actually plenty of leg room between the seats. Soft furnished interior. LED lighting. You've got three single seats on the near side. You have three seats as you board and then three rows of doubles towards the rear. Manual opening windows on either side of the vehicle. So these are Phoenix Blenheim seats with Phoenix legs, three point seat belts fitted as well. also plenty of headroom in the vehicle. Just in the distance over there you can see another example that's recently been converted by minibus options in Whaley Bridge. So overall a comfortable roomy interior, well built. You can open the rear doors as well as an emergency exit and also for boarding the vehicle if required. So you've got a buzzer that comes on. Hankook tyres are fitted. Which are 235-65R. 16 C's. Daytime running lights, headlights, and front fog lights. Charging point for this vehicle is at the front. So you just press open the panel and then you can plug your vehicle into a unit like this. Chapel the Frith. I've got it in drive with the L button selected. So that's allowing me extra battery regeneration and effectively only having to use the accelerator pedal. Arriving at Chapel End the Frith.
batteries. I've got the demister set on auto, 24.5 degrees. So it is maintaining a nice interior temperature and it's keeping the windows clear. In terms of handling on this vehicle, the battery is mounted in the centre of the vehicle effectively, so it has got a low centre of gravity despite its height. It only takes very minor adjustment on the steering wheel to get it where you want to go. So I've got that L button pressed in, so it is braking for me as I take my foot off the pedal.
frustrated the people all over the country. It's ideal for road testing vehicles with the map sharp bend you have on these roads. So we're just going to see how the transit performs uphill. If you keep an eye on the eco behaviour you'll be able to see the acceleration. It's quite a steep hill, foot flat to the floor. Easily maintaining 50 miles an hour. So there is plenty of power there uphill. So if you're in a diesel vehicle, you're probably in third gear right now. returning the vehicle back to minibus options now. Overall an extremely impressive vehicle, probably one of the best small minibuses I've driven for some time that are electric. Ford just seems to have got everything right with this vehicle, the handling, acceleration, braking, build quality. And obviously that's been topped off with minibus options, excellent um, Version to a minibus as well. 